day five for Emirates Team New Zealand with AC75 Boat 3. Here talking to Ryan Thomas. Uh, the hours are starting to clock up on the platform. How's the commissioning phase going? Uh, yeah, it's going, going really well. Um, yeah, not still little things going on, but um, overall they're able to sail the boat and how they want to. So it's, yeah, it's been, it's been a good, quite fast uh, commissioning process. So we're, we're really happy with it, yeah. Brilliant. Um, what is your role exactly for the commissioning phase and kind of overall? Uh, well, I work, on the, yeah, yeah. I work on the control systems for the boat. So it's mostly a, a software role, but it's that sort of intersection point with the hydraulics, electronics, um, the, all the, the input devices for the sailors. You know, so um, I guess we have that overall sort of global um, view of, of everything and just trying to get everything to work well together and, and how the sailors want it to work and how they're supposed to work, how they're designed to work. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess it's, you sort of in the details, but you're also trying to, trying to look at the whole thing as well. Yeah, cool. And how have you found the development process so far of those systems? Yeah, uh, really good. So yeah, a lot of, um, a lot of difference from previous boats. So it's been, it's been interesting, um, but it's, yeah, it's gone, yeah, very, I'd say really well, probably one of the best commissionings I've been a part of really it's yeah I'm sure you, you guys have seen that they're they're going pretty well yep. um, out there yep uh, we see that you spend some time on the on the dock uh, kind of changing and, and watching the foil control systems from the like lifting the boards and tying that in with mass rotation etc uh, is that direct feedback from the sailors that you're tuning or something different or um, it's just sort of general systems checks usually. Sometimes there's something more specific to do with the dock if you have um, done something that sort of requires the, the rig in to, to check. Um, but yeah, in a normal situation, it's just sort of dock checks, just making sure everything's working as it's supposed to, as, as much as you can in the dock. Obviously, you know, nothing's really loaded or anything, but um, yeah, it's just a general shakedown. Cool. Uh, there was talk in the media regarding the uh, rules around like automation versus like the sailing, sailor input and, and that kind of situation. Can you explain the, the, the difference, I guess, between automation and what's actually in real life practice or how you see that situation? Um, yeah, um, it's quite a, a big subject, I yeah. guess. Um, yeah, so the, the class rule has changed um, this time around, so you can you can sort of me measure more um, sort of inputs to the control system than you could in, in previous uh, recent campaigns. Um, but at the end of the day, that it's still sort of desi designed so that the sailors are, are sailing the boat. That's what the class rule um, is intended. Uh, yeah, it's probably don't can't really say too much more about yeah. it. But that's cool. Uh, with seen a few of the other teams launch now and you've had a look at some of the systems of their tow testing, I guess, I don't think anyone's been sailing yet, but any comments on what you've seen so far from other teams? Um, my, most of the stuff I'm interested in is usually sort of in the boat, so it's, it's actually quite hard to see how their control systems are working and the hydraulic systems, but uh, like no one's really sailed yet, so it's sort of hard to see how their you know, above deck systems are, are working or supposed to work, so not, not too many comments lately, but you know, I'm sure there's, there's plenty of different ways to do similar things, so it's going to be really interesting to see yeah. see what they've done, what we can see anyway. But yeah, I'd love to have a look under the under the hoods for sure.